Welcome back, my friend, to another reactive video. I hope you're having a good day. And if you're not, I hope it gets better. This video is from Body Cam Edition. Let's go and see what it's all about. Let's go. On February 14th, 2024, officers were dispatched to the Grand Key Resort in response to a verbal altercation. A female was heard screaming at a male in the parking lot. <laughs> He's my boyfriend. He doesn't even know what the f happened. Anything. I'm so sorry. I don't mean to swear, but he does not even know what's going on. That's what drunk he is, and that's why he's so mad at me. That's why he's so mad at me because I cut him off from the car, and he's mad at me. Okay. What happened? I don't even know. I don't even know what happened. I walked up to him and he starts talking shit to me to end all this. <laughs> we were hanging out with these dudes at the bar all night. And all of a sudden he just walks away and I go and follow him and he's like, you know what the f you know what the f did? Sorry, I don't mean to swear at you, but that's what he was saying to me. Swearing, I don't care about. Yes, yeah, screaming at me. I'm Please sorry. Swear. I'm just so overwhelmed. This has never happened to me. My f head hurts. My hands hurt everything. Why does your hands hurt? Because he hit me so I hit him back. Look, I don't, I do not mess with that shit. If you're gonna hit me, I'm gonna hit you the back. What do you mean? And. Where did he hit you? Hit my mouth. That's why my lip is fucking swollen. You see that? Anyways, I don't know what happened. I, I could not even tell you. Did she touch you? No. No, no, she's so crazy. She went crazy is what you said? Yeah, she's drunk. Yeah. Okay. You seem like you're a little intoxicated too. Yeah. That's no, all right. No, no, no. It's not a crime. I, no, I am. Where did he hit you? Like here? I, I, I don't know. Like we were, we were over but by it was our, here at the hotel. yes, it was over by our rental vehicle. I don't even, I can't even tell you if he actually boom, hit me. All I know is I felt something hit my lip. Uh -huh. And that's why it's torn. I do not want to press charges, anything. I just want to figure out what the f is going on with him. Because I have no money. Oh, oh, that's why, honestly, they always say, like, if, if there's something going on, just try to stay quiet or something like that. Don't give more information than you're supposed to. She must have been drinking too much that her mind is just blabbering stuff out. She already admitted that her boyfriend hit her and she punched. She punched them back, you know what I mean? So I thought a domestic case, you guys, you know what I'm saying? That's a, that whether she wants to press charge or not, they're gonna take somebody to jail. That's what I'm saying, man. <laughs> the police officer is gonna take it into their arms to do whatever they have to do. The thing is that the man just said, No, she never hit me, you know? So but she's saying she he hit her. That first of all, so if you're not in a relationship like that, you gotta break that off, man. You gotta just go, leave it. There's no nothing in the world that's better than 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 getting away from uh, a relationship like that. That's that's all I'm saying, man. So so yeah, it's never gonna work out because it can escalate to something even bigger. So I hope they ain't together no more, man. Because that's not a relationship that should be together. Cause oh, nope. but yeah, someone's going to jail. Him. Oh my gosh, we went on a sunset cruise earlier. He probably had about 15 drinks. We got here, he probably had about six. 15 and drinks? So he's had like 20 something drinks? Yes, and that's why he's so mad at me because I cut him off. Uh -huh. He doesn't like that. I don't know what I did. I don't know what happened. I don't know anything. All I know is that I walked to the car trying to get him to come inside. Like, I. Oh I'm. <laughs> I will be honest with you, I'm only 19 years old. But I will tell you, How old is he? he is 33. I will tell you, before you accuse me of fake ID anything, I have not been ID'd once while I've been here. That's all I'm gonna tell you. And I know I still am breaking the law, but... Well, let's not worry about that. Okay, yes, I am only 19 years old and I will be honest with you on that. So do you know how you got this mark on the side of your face here? No, I don't. Okay. You have no recollection of that at all? No, I don't. Can I see your hands real quick? 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, there we go. I'm not so fucking honest. <laughs> I know, but on, on that side of your face, you get a little abrasion and scratch, and on the back over here, you got some redness on the back of your head. I'm trying to figure out what that's about. Mm. You tell me you don't have any idea, so. That's my girlfriend. Okay. That was her messing around? Spaz spazzing. Oh, yeah. spazzing. Yeah. Oh, okay. Can you hang out with him real quick? Yeah. I'm going to see. We have the other people. Yeah. yeah, I came out to him, passed out on the floor. I was trying to get him up. I was like, in the parking lot? Mm -hmm. He was, okay, our car is like right here, so he was laying in the grass. I was trying to get him up, like I was pulling him. I was like, babe, get up, get up. Kind of like moving him with my foot, like mm -hmm. nothing. As soon as he gets up, kill this, kill that. I was like, I was like, David, what did I do? He's like, you know what you did. I did not do anything. I promise you, we were sitting at this bar out here. We were talking to these two dudes. He was talking to them all night. I was talking to them all night. All of a sudden, he just walks away mad. I promise you, I have no clue what I did wrong. I was trying to get him up out of the grass and get him to our hotel room and get him to sleep. He just goes off, shoves me, and pushed me to the ground. I got up. Did anybody see this? I mean, I don't think anybody saw it, but somebody heard, and that's why they called the yeah, cops in there. Yes. Anybody see anything about what's going on out there? Yeah, she came back with a swollen lip. She did? Yeah, and she, okay. she did say she hit him. She said she hit him? Did, you saw her, like, leaving? Like, getting leaving uh, the mm -hmm. lobby? She, well, she ran in and out of here three or four times. Okay, so her lip was at one point not swollen, and now it is. Mm -hmm. And then did you see anything about the guy? No, I haven't seen the guy at all. Okay. He's been in the middle of the parking lot the whole time. It, okay. For some reason, when she came down here, mm -hmm. she was looking for him. He was not in the building, and she was all looking for him. Okay. I'm not sure if he was walking her out, you know, like trying to get away okay. from her. Yep. And then after about less than five minutes, right, Jess? Mm -hmm. About less than five minutes, she went outside, and then we started hearing screaming. We're not certain what exactly happened, but. Okay. It seemed like he was trying to get away from her too as well. This whole trip, he's just been standoffish, like, f***ing you, like, all this, and I'm just like, mm -hmm. I do not want to press charges on him, I do not want him to go to jail, he owns a business, we're all the way from Minnesota, we have a flight to get on on Friday, like, and I guarantee he's over there telling a whole different story. <laughs> well, that's usually what happens. Yes. Let me talk to him, and okay, we'll go from there. Okay. There were some shenanigans that happened tonight. Remember this woman right here, these young ladies, give me some Amber Heard vibes, you guys. You know Amber Heard, Johnny Depp, where she was like trying to say all this and stuff about Johnny Depp, and Johnny Depp was just like chill, like mm, oh no, like this guy reminds me of Johnny Depp. He's just like no, she hit me. She like he's trying to like defend her so she won't go to jail. The other girl's like, oh, he pushed me. He did these. I don't want him to go to jail. But but as soon as we came and like, she's just, wow. She's just throwing down the, the cards all the way to beat him. You know what I mean? Like, that is wild. I think she's probably an aggressive lady and he gets drunk, you know, of course people get drunk, but I guess since he gets drunk, she don't like that and Attack him or something, you know what I mean? Because it seems like the police are talking about that he had scratches on his neck or something like that and on the sides. And uh, the other lady said he was trying, they looked like he was trying to get away from her. That's what he went out saying. She went and looked at him and chased him down, started yelling and screaming. Why would she be yelling if he's probably just chill? He looks like a chill guy, like he just gets drunk and he's just chill. But I don't know, I guess we're gonna find more about this. I got a feeling that girl was probably the one. Uh, attacking him or something he just responded by like trying to get her off and probably hit her on you know on the mouth by like moving her off or something maybe i'm wrong i don't know what you think what's your thoughts up to this point let me know down in the comments but i got a feeling this girl is just trying to throw dirt on him trying to seem like she's an innocent one because the cops are involved in this now that's my thoughts but she don't want press charges on him but she's saying everything that supposedly she did i mean he did to her Remember what happened? No, what happened? I'm asking you, you were there, I wasn't. I don't know, I want to know. So your girlfriend? I'm not the red guy, trust me. Yes. Yeah. What's your girlfriend? My girlfriend, yeah. Okay. What she's saying is, I guess she was trying to wake you up. I guess you pushed her or something? Tell me what it did. I don't know, I wasn't there. I don't know either. Tell me what it did.
The man's inebriation prevented him from accurately recalling the events, while the woman's narrative continuously shifted. The only consistent detail was the presence of marks on the man, which the woman did acknowledge resulted from her hitting him. I hate doing this, but I'm just gonna have to take both of them. I hate doing that. I'm the one that hit him in the face. I can tell you that for free. If you want to arrest me or whatever, that's fine. I am the one that actually threw punches and hit him. I don't know how I got that with, I cannot tell you. I know I got shoved, I know I got pushed to the ground. All I know is I threw first punch. I was repeatedly hitting him in the head. That's all I know. But you wouldn't have had a punch at all if you hadn't been pushed and then smacked in the face. Yes. So. Ms. Paris. <laughs> yeah? Can you be honest with me? Yes. Do you remember getting pushed or no? I can tell you I don't remember a single thing. All I know is I went to China with camera. That's all. Can you do me a favor? Yes. Can you stand up? Yeah. Ah. Yeah? Yeah. Put your hands behind your back. Um, why am I getting less of this? I'll play this. I just really couldn't tell you what happened first. All I know is he wouldn't want me arrested and I don't want him arrested. Okay. And, and I appreciate I you and I appreciate your honesty. I believe, because like I told you, I don't get set up unless somebody puts hands on me first. I understand. So like the lip, because I can yeah. feel that my lip I can, is I can see some redness there. Yes. He definitely put hands on me first. That's all I know. Okay. I don't just go off like that for no reason. You okay, but can you just... I'm going to jail right now. Ask me. But why? Because he has scratches and he has wounds that are more of an aggressive aggressor. Okay, but like I told you... You have a you? swollen hand. Okay. All of this, everything you told me is going to go into the court and ultimately... The judge and the state attorney will decide where the case goes from here, but for tonight, you have to go to jail. I I know you're going to be like, oh, you're switching your story because you don't want to go to jail. No, I was telling you that he did not aggress it because I didn't want him to go to jail because he owns a business. He's successful. I'm not successful at all. And I was trying to look out for him. Seems like he's not looking out for me at all. And, but I can tell you for free, he pushed me, maybe not to the ground, but he shoved me and that's what set me off, okay? I was just trying to protect him and now I feel very stupid because I'm about to spend a night in jail for doing nothing, for literally getting hands put on me and putting hands on him back. I was 100% lying to both of you to try to get him not in trouble because I care about his business, I care about his reputation. Clearly he doesn't give a shit about me, but since he wants to put hands on me, and my parents warned me about that shit, but anyways, okay. I just want you guys to understand that I was telling you I don't remember what happened because I didn't want him to get in trouble. I didn't think I was going to get in trouble. Are you kidding me? I was lying to you. Well, the state of, in the state of Florida, if we determine a primary aggressor, we have to make an arrest. Why does he get like, he's he, not getting treated great. He's being spoken to. Why does he get treated good when he's the one that started he's everything? He's not being treated good. He's the one that put hands on me and I'm 19 
years old and I was only had a minor one time. I don't do this shit. I don't end up in handcuffs. My mom's gonna f hate me. I didn't do anything wrong. You didn't realize that. I didn't do anything. I hear you. Do you want to get the handcuffs off? I just want to go home to my I don't care about the f***ing head okay, well, we gotta go I wanna go home. I wanna never see this motherfucker again in my life. All he's done is put me through f***ing hell. All he's done is put me through f***ing hell. And now here I am in jail for his ass because I didn't want to tell you guys that he hit me first because I care about him. And now Let's get out and let's get upstairs so we can get through this. Come on. 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 This is, she was perfectly fine over there, no problem at all. Not you, but it's just, it's nuts. Yeah, I, I just kind of know. Yeah, I know, no, no, I understand. I thought you, you always been great. It's just ridiculous. Like, she, this is a big act. It's a big act. But now, but now we gotta go take her and put her over there, and she's gonna do the same thing. And... The woman's panic attack persisted, prompting her transfer to the hospital where she was medically cleared. Later, she was charged with battery. What do you think really happened? Share your thoughts below, and remember to like and subscribe. I guess she did have a panic attack and then she was cleared, probably because she was, I mean, she seemed like she was drinking too, you guys, you know, so. Uh, and then you see, yeah, probably never went to jail before. It was the first time. She probably didn't know what to do. It kind of makes sense. She's far away too. How, you know, who's going to come get her out or whatever. You know what I mean? Unless the guy actually does in case he can go to jail. But sad thing about it, man, is that she, she, she needs to chill on the fighting people or attacking people. You know what I mean? Because from what I heard from the people there is she went out there looking for the man. If she would have just, you know, I mean, usually when... There's somebody that's drunk and they look like they might act up. You might want to just leave them alone. You know what I mean? And that's their decision. They got drunk. But hopefully she did go back to her mom. And hopefully she broke it off or he broke it off because they ain't supposed to be together. Not in relationship bar gets like to the point where they start attacking each other. It's not a good relationship anymore. But I got to say, man. I gotta be it. that guy was like the whole time I did not hear anything about him saying anything about her attacking him. He was like, I don't remember. Did I do something? Let me know. You know, like he he was drunk. Like he No, there's no way he said anything about that girl, but that girl automatically in her mind decided that he probably said stuff about her, and that's why she's going to jail. And uh she probably just got mad, man, but she admitted herself that she punched him and punched him and punched him and when you admit that to a police officer man it's because you gotta control that no way you want to say that to a police officer i'm just saying man she must have been drinking too she think it's natural to attack somebody if somebody attacks you which uh i don't know it seemed like she probably be attacking that guy a lot and uh she i guess he was successful to her i mean a successful guy right going places and this and that I don't say anybody should put up with anybody and maybe they got money. 
especially the relationship is bad but then again i don't know what do you think let me know down below also when i hit the like button it helps this video out and uh you want to watch another video you can watch this one right here and thank you for your time thank you for watching i'll see you next time bye